Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. Soul Brother reporting live from the Leak Dungeon. Yes, we got the leaks. Uh, KD12, of uh, course, you know. Yes. It's about that time. Uh, yeah, so shout out to Sneaker News, Seabrick23, and all the Soul Squad that sent this over on DM on Instagram. If you guys want to DM us, our Instagram is right here. But yeah, so here's the KD12. I'm sure you've seen it already. So my first impressions or just like my initial reaction to this shoe was like that's nasty but now I, I kind of look at it it's like it's not bad it's not bad uh, it's like, okay we're almost done giving our opinions when a yeah. shoe first comes up because <laughs> exactly. it's like then we end up liking it and I, hey, everyone's like dude you you hated it like too it's everyone dude but like, yeah I don't know uh, it doesn't look bad though yeah. I don't know we'll have to I don't see like it. that the swoosh is cut off yeah yeah that's kind of weird but uh, I wonder if Leo Chang worked on this. Hmm. Uh, if he did, then we're gonna need to talk Leo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we don't have any actual pictures of the traction though. So uh, the supposed release date for this shoe is April 7th for 150 bucks. So they kept the same price. So shout out to KD, getting like pretty good tech. Actually, one of the, actually I don't know about the materials. We'll get into that, but mm -hmm. uh, you're getting pretty good tech and stuff for 150 bucks. And supposed release date is. April 7th, which is basically what, like three weeks from now? Yeah, also Holy shout shit. out to at sneaker underscore speculation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that's who originally leaked it. Oh really? Yeah, uh, um, so shout out to them, if that's the case, I don't know, yeah. it's a mess. But he, Trying to shout out whoever was responsible for it. He's a homie though, yeah, so um, anyway, so let's get into the tech. So yeah, like I said, we don't have any pictures of the traction, but we can see the traction from here. Like on the medial side, Ooh. and it looks like lines, and it reminds you a lot of the Kyrie two a little bit. Yeah, what what does that remind you? <clears throat> yeah, the a two, little bit, I right? Guess. A little bit, and it looks like a little bit of hangbone maybe in the heel, and it looks like it kind of comes up for like a outsole curvature a little bit. Yeah, right. Now yeah. it looks like an outsole curvature. Yeah. So I'm kind of happy about that, but yeah, traction seems like it's gonna be pretty good. Yeah. This is like totally translucent, like that rubber is translucent. Okay, what's going so, on with this white caging on the mid toe? It is that's cushion, right? That's I feel like it is. Yeah. So um, people are saying it might be a Lunalon midsole. Uh -huh. uh, maybe React. I don't know. Uh, ultra cage. I, though. I, yeah, ultra ultra cage. So the, yeah, so you see that white part in the toe area. So I'm thinking it might be attached to this, to the, to the midsole. So the maybe yeah. it's the midsole coming up, but. If you look at it, it kind of looks like it is separate. Right. So maybe it's just a separate plastic part. I don't know. We'll have to see. It's not a big deal if it isn't. Mm -hmm. But I am glad that they, dude. That I'm so glad about this because you see the plastic caging in the heel that acts as a counter or a lateral containment and also in the forefoot. So the KD11 was horrible for lateral containment, dude. So I'm I'm pretty sure uh, Leo Chen watched their video and now he's in the. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but they, they're fixing it, dude. And uh, maybe KD had an issue with this, and that's why it changed. Uh, I don't know. I wonder why. Because it's such a drastic change, you know? Like, the, the 9 and 10 had a little bit of an issue with that as well. Yeah. Um, but the 11 was definitely the worst. So I, I'm really glad that they changed that. So, yeah, and it says zoom in the forefoot. So I wonder, it says it's mostly in the forefoot area. But I wonder, it's probably full length. Because it's been like what? It's been full length since the 8, dude. The 8 is full length, but it's like segmented. Yeah, it's articulated a bunch yeah. in the forefoot, which kind of kills some of it. Yeah, 9 is crazy. 9 was probably the best. Yeah. Um, and like the bounciest and stuff. It's still like a little articulated here. So you have flex in the forefoot. Same with the 10 and 11. And one thing that I wanted to improve on in the cushion is no caging. Yeah, so in the 11, they, they implemented React, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. then they caged the hell out of it. Yeah, so it's like, why would you use React if you cage it this much? Yeah. You know, that's like, what's the point? And uh, to me, I like to have a lot of, like, like, not a lot, but just a good amount of heel compression. And if you cage it up this much, you have, you have no heel compression. So maybe yeah. KD likes to feel that and just, like, have his foot dig into the cushion, just, like, as in, like, just inside the shoe. Yeah, just like more stepping comfort yeah. than actual like a ton of impact protection. Maybe, I don't know, because like I hate this setup, dude. I really yeah. don't like, oh, I don't hate it, but I just don't like it as much as, you know, if it was exposed, you know? And also this did add a lot and a lot of weight. You know, this is like 13.5 ounces. Which yeah, is, this is all rubber yeah. coming around the cage and rubber, of course, is heavy. Yeah, so and super thick. 
can hear it so um, I want that to change but obviously it, it doesn't change but it does look like maybe it's a little bit thinner of a plastic because like it looks yeah. like plastic it doesn't look like rubber coming up right yeah because like you know it's kind of like separated right there mm. so in like a thin plastic a certain um, compound of plastic might be uh, lighter than rubber hopefully yes, yes. So yeah, lightening up the shoe would be good a little bit, um, yeah. and also keeping a ton of support. It looks like it's going to be a supportive shoe. Yeah, definitely, for sure. definitely, especially out of support, dude. Yeah. yeah, and also here it is pretty. It's really exposed on the medial side. Yeah, so I want. It, it looks like there's a good amount of heel uh, or just like compression marks. Yeah, it looks like someone's been been, been testing that. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, I really wonder what that foam is. Uh, like people are saying it's Lunlon React. Um, I, I doubt it it's looks Lunlon, so. by these creases. It looks soft. Yeah, it looks, looks like it very well could be a Lunlon yeah. or maybe even a React. Yeah. Or maybe even a Cushlon. Maybe. You know maybe. what I mean? Cushlon's not bad. Cushlon is dope too. So yeah, it's very exposed on the medial side in the heel, which which is okay. You, it, it can be exposed there. Yes. Get some compression. As long as you have stability on the outer portion, the, the, the uh, lateral side yeah, and of also, the shoe. And also, like I said, we don't know where the zoom is. It doesn't say on like sneaker news or anything. And it doesn't say zoom here anywhere on the KD besides, I guess it says here, Nike React plus zoom here in the heel mm -hmm. in the 11. But here it's mostly in the forefoot. So I'm guessing maybe just in the forefoot and instead of full length uh, zoom, maybe KD's tired of pulling zoom, I don't know. Maybe. I, I do like the cushion setup, but I just don't like how caged it is, especially in the, in the heel. So that's gonna kind of suck. Also, another thing that worries me is that this one's real stiff. Yeah. Or actually, the KD 11's not that... Yes, it's kind of... Compared to other shoes, it's, it's not as easy to flex in the forefoot. Yeah, but this one's gonna be a lot stiffer. Yeah, that's what it the, looks with like. With that, that caging coming up, especially yeah. in the midfoot. Yeah. That's kind of where you get a lot of bending from. So yeah, it's probably gonna be pretty stiff. Yeah, hopefully like hopefully it's not, but it's what it looks like, you know? And yeah. um, also you see that in the toe, like the rubber or like the plastic comes up a lot. So yeah. it feels like they tried to make it, like I have another picture, like right here, you see that? Yeah, it's good for toe drags, durability. Exactly. right there. See that? The yeah, rubber comes up a lot, That's dude. super robust. Yeah, like rubber or whatever plastic or whatever they're using. And then also there is a line or like a ring of fuse going around the forefoot and also kind of goes all the way around into the lateral side as well. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see it. It's, it's all black. It's a little bit hard to see, but it, it's, it goes around basically outlining the entire right. metal or the plastic part. And so let's move on to the materials. Uh, no flying it this time. Um, it reminds me of the ESP material a little bit. Yeah, which I'm not mad at. Yeah. It's super yeah. thin, super yeah. thin. Super thin. Um, You know that EXP, uh, there's like the, no, not the, the React 55 or 7, not the first one, but the general release one. No, oh. the one that's not see-through. Remember the black and kind of like teal one that came out, that colorway? Kind of. Yeah, so that's what the uh, material reminds me of. It's um, not flying it, which I'm not mad at because materials we're not too like stingy about. As long as it's, you know, supportive, soft, thin, then yeah. we're not mad at it, you know? And uh, that's, it looks like it has all of these qualities. Um, it's not a one booty upper either anymore. Like it has a, f oh no, it kind of is. Huh. What? Yeah, so that tongue looks attached to the upper right there. You see that? Yeah, and is that a different material in the tongue or, or not? Uh, oh yeah, maybe just like a more screen airy mesh it mm -hmm. looks like. Um, it doesn't look very premium to be honest. No, it doesn't look but, crazy premium. Yeah, that, which kind of sucks. And I do miss, I do really like the material, like when it's stretchy here. Yeah. I really like that, but you know, uh, it, it, as long as it feels good on foot, I'm not mad at it. But yeah, it does look like a, a tongue. There is a tongue, but then it's attached more along the midfoot area. Yeah. So I guess it's more of like a. But it looks like movie. it looks like it'll scrunch up. You know, oh, if, you yeah. need, if you need to alter the fit a little bit, yeah. it's, it's somewhat customizable, not as much as a full tongue, but, yeah. um, you know, still nonetheless. And also, if you look, it looks like there are a little bit of Achilles pillars. Am I tripping or what? Uh, I can't really tell. Yeah, I, I, I'll brighten it up in post so you guys can see it better, but it looks like there's Achilles pillows to me, and it looks like there's a lot of padding in the ankle area from this picture, mm -hmm. which is very interesting. And this is a freaking mid. Yeah. This is a mid. Yeah, it's how soft does that material look on the ankle? It looks real soft, dude. Right. Like, look at, look at, look at, what the fuck? Oh, um, but it's pretty much a, it's not like a sock-like ankle. Yeah, it's not. So it's like a full-on mid. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so um, all of his shoes have been lows, dude, since yeah. the five. So that's kind of interesting. I wonder what 
he was thinking. I don't know. I wonder why they did that. Oh yeah, no. Sne sneaker speculation said it, the Mitchell looks like a caged Lunalon and full length zoom. Mm. Looks like. Looks like. So we were not 100 percent sure, but yeah. it, it, I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Also, it says new tech called Quad Axial Flywire. <laughs> okay, Quad. Cool. Yeah. Um, is used presumably the uh, is used presumably the flywire is. Am I not reading this correctly? Well, quad axial mean there's four axes, right? Um, should we break out calculators? What's uh, going on here? Yeah, so it's the, just flywire. Yeah, the flywire is used to cover the whole upper for containment. Mm. And so, um, yeah, if you look at it, it's kind of bright in here. I wonder if you see those lines, those strings. Yeah. I wonder if all of that is flywire. Probably. But it, to be honest, like textile is basically flywire. Yeah. Because cloth is just like weed string. Yeah. <laughs> so if you think about it, it's flywire. Oh, and you see that right there? You uh, see that yeah. little window? Yeah. So like, yeah, so the fly, dude, that's crazy, man. Like, so it looks like veins, kind of, I would say. And so I'm thinking it's like a double layer material. So where, where there's like a textile material underneath or whatever. And then the flywire is like all over and shit. It's like um, a web. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then you have, I guess, I'm guessing it's more like a screen mesh then. Yeah. You know, and then you, because there's that window, you can see that fly wire. So that's actually pretty cool. I, I wonder if it actually really does anything. But like, if you look at the actual picture, it goes throughout the entire upper. Like, that's on crazy. The, yeah, on the lateral side and also in the toe area, dude. Huh. Like, look at that. It's more like a grid here in the toe area. Is that what that is too? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, right? Wow. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. It's a pretty big change as far as, you know, it's like we, have, we haven't seen a mid since the 5 and... Uh, no fly mid. Yeah, no fly mid. So, um... Shape, the, the, the silhouette is pretty different. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So Price is the same, 150 Yes. Uh, so it's, you know, still kind of mid-tier, I guess, as far as price goes. Yes. But and release date is April 7th. Yeah, yes. coming up soon. We will have more news for you when we get it. Thanks for tuning in, Soul Brothers. Catch you in the next one later. Peace.